everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming. We're starting off the episode pretty much leaving right where we left off, and we have a communication coming in from Apollo. Uh, good work. Your attack on that factor paid off. Did you get any useful data? Say no. No matter. We have what we need. I got my, my, my frame rate just tanking again. I recorded countless signal flares when the sentinel started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. That's interesting. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll attune your scanner to the Sentinel energy shields. Signals. Uh, we soon. We shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. In communication. Okay. Yep. So I got that deal where the game occasionally just frames absolutely tank. And that means I'm going to have to reboot. So when I reboot, I'll come back and we will... Uh, get started. Uh, well, I think what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to work on our freighter a little bit. Uh, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay guys, we are back. Um, I actually, actually walked over to the uh, station here because I have a couple of things to sell. We have subatomic regulators, recycled circuitry, and nano cubes. Uh, I also have this suspicious pack of arms that we got off of a fight somewhere. And that gives us a neutron cannon module, which we want to hang on to uh, until we, uh, until and if we um, try out the neutron cannon, which I probably will. I want to at least try it and see if I like it. Okay, so we are now back on our freighter. And it is time for us to do some upgrading. Oh, you know what, though? I just remembered something. We are going to need... Here, let's look at something. We're going to make all of these rooms, at least one of all of these rooms. And we're going to need... See, that's going to require silver, dihydrogen jelly, gold. That requires tritium. Okay, well, I, I guess what I was about to say is we might need to go do some asteroid farming if we don't have enough to do all this. But let, let's just get started and we'll see... We we'll see. We'll see how far we can get. Okay. So here's. I've been giving this some thought, and here's what I want to do. So we come into our area here, and then on the left hand side, I want to put storage, and on the right hand side, and immediately on the right hand side, I want to put the teleporter, and then, um, you know, some of our other rooms. But I know for sure that I want to put the storage on the left. So what I want to do here is let's go over to here and I think we can just move these so if we go into the build menu and we do move and then we should be able to I, I want to put this one right here much must attach to existing room oh really so you're saying that So I guess if I guess if we if we're moving these they have to all be next to each other is that is that what that means? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess one thing we could do is just re just delete this and rebuild it. The stuff should be fine because it'll be in the one that's down at the base. Well, in theory, <laughs> we better save before we do that. All right, so yeah, let's um let's delete that. Okay, we got all of our stuff back. Now we want to build it. It still says must must attach to existing room. Um, did we 
put it over here if we wanted to. Yeah, we could put it over there. Why? But why can't I? I want to put it right here. So, so do we have to? Do we have to put these bulkhead thingies in place first? Targeted area is outside of build limits. Okay, so it looks like it'll go there, but why is that outside of the build limits? Is it because this catwalk stuff is here? Because I think we can build as far as we can see on this platform all the way over to there if we if we wanted to. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe it's because this platform's here. Let's um can we delete that. Yes. Okay, we can delete that. Alright, so here, let's go back into here. Picked zero up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that that explains it. So we we have to remove these catwalk things because they're I guess they're considered another build piece, and they're in the way. I mean, we don't have any need for this stuff out here anyways, at least not right now. Maybe in a future iteration of the freighter. So, all right, let's let's um, let's get rid of all this stuff then. Now, this stuff is still in here, right? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's what we had to do. All right. So, now what we're going to do is, can we just now move the rest of these storage storages? Let's try, let's try that. Move. Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, let's um I think we're gonna go back three. Uh oh. That blocked us from from getting to our other ones. Um we could probably temporarily put a thingy here. No, it has to go here. Oh, we're missing tritium. Oh, okay. Do I have any tritium on the freighter? I don't. We have a few hyper clusters here. So I'm going to have to probably farm some more of these up later. But let's just uh, do enough to do this. Alright, we don't want to bury any of these items either. So we can move these, but we have to we have to move them. Hmm. I have to put them in order as the thing. Okay, so what that means then is we need to temporarily put corridors going down this way. And then we can we should be able to pick them back up after we're done. Okay. Now I think we're It's just a matter of trying to figure out how all this works cuz it's it's different than it used to be. 
Uh, it's better too. I really like it. I think it was the endurance update that they came out with where they overhauled all the freighters. Um, they were, of course, around in the Beyond update when I played last, but um, I've definitely, you know, changed since then. Okay, let's grab that for moving. And we'll put this one back here. All right. We'll, get, we'll grab that stuff later. We're going to go three back. Or where are we going to go four back? Yeah, let's go. Let's go three back. Now, I'm going to just build out the rest of these. So, we want five next, which will go here. Six will go here. Seven will go here. Eight will go here. And then I think I'm going to put nine in this corner uh, because I have some other plans for the rest of that. And then, of course, we'll have to rebuild these uh, down at the base, too. Okay, good. That takes care of that. We should now be able to remove all of these corridors. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to put the teleporter right on the other side. Grab it next. And I want it to go right in here. And yeah, just like that. Cool. All right. And. Okay, so before we move the fleet command room, um, I think what I want to do next is put the market thingy. Oh, you know what? I think I may have buried our save point thingy because it was right there. If we move this room to here, can we get it again? Oh, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's right there. Okay, good. We got it. Okay, what we're going to do with the save point is I'm going to put it in this corner here so it's easily accessible. Let's get into camera mode so I can kind of see a little bit better here. Make sure it's reasonably straight and we'll put it right there. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I want to put a couple other things up too. These, uh, I want to do a health station. So why don't we put a health station on the wall there? And let's also do a hazard protection unit. These aren't necessarily going to stay here because later on 
I was looking through, you know, all the other things we can build. Later on, we can uh, we can build just open rooms without it uh, having anything else with it that we can then put our own loose, you know, these loose kinds of things in. But for now, this is the best place to put these because I think it gives us the most space. Very good. All right, now, uh, next thing I want to do is let's build the galactic trade room because I'm tired of having to run over the station every time I want to sell something. Oh, it even comes with a gek. What do you know? Hey, that thing's following us. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, now, let's see. What else do we have? We've got... Uh, we're going to set up the construction in the science room, too. We already have the teleport chamber. We have one fleet command room. Um, so let's do this. Let's grab... Let's grab our fleet command room back here. And for now, we're going to put it next to the, the galactic terminal. It's not necessarily where it's going to stay permanently, but that's where we're going to put it for now. And we need to set more of these up too, because the next thing I want to do, possibly even in the next episode, is uh, get going with, uh, with the fleets. Uh, because I have I have seen how valuable those things actually are, so it's really good. Okay, now for here, let's put in our construction room, construction specialist, and for here we'll put in the science room. And I'm not sure if the dudes are assigned down at the base, are they also assigned here? Oh, it just calls him in. Look at that! How cool is that? All right. Well, that answered that question. Okay, we no longer need this corridor here for now. So let's remove that. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to... Uh, I'm gonna put four refiners in place and they're going to go right here. I want them fairly close to our storage room. So we can start by moving this one and putting it right there. And then let's build three more refiner rooms. Uh oh, we're missing components. We need... We're going to need four more dihyde jellies to do two more rooms. Okay. We've been lucky so far that we've had enough materials to do all this stuff. I figured I was going to have to probably go do some asteroid farming. Alright, so we have four refiners in here. That's good. What is left that we can currently make? Uh, we could do a cultivation chamber, but we have to. We're gonna need some more frigate salvage modules before we can make the actual what I'm what I'll call the kitchen room. So the cultivation chamber is not really doing us any good until we can do that. I mean, I suppose we could start growing plants, but we can't. Uh, we can't process them up here. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, so we're gonna want more fleet command rooms. I think we'll hold off on the cultivation chamber. And yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Can't really do any more until we learn more things. So I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna need at least one, maybe two more, or maybe even more of these stations. So as we get those, we'll continue to kind of put them along this wall here so they're all kind of in a line. All right, that's awesome. I think we made uh, some pretty good progress with this. Now, here's my thought. Um, I'm going to change zero. Right now, it's got, like, basic resources in it. I'm going to use zero as a, a drop chest, right? So 
uh, we, we get to the freighter, we drop crap off, and we go back out, and then I sort it out later. You know, that kind of idea. Um, so I'm going to change the inventories of all of these. And I also want to make sure we have equivalents of these at the base, too. Um, I think. Let's go down to the base for a second and take a look at that. Okay, so... Here's what I'm thinking. Well, we have two options. We could either build up, but that means then that we either have an irregular roof Or we could do the other five along this wall and just move a few things over. We'd have to move the terminus over and at least these two refiners would have to be moved. And we could probably make that work. So I think I like plan B better. So let's go here. No, not there. Let's move this guy over here. I think that's pretty straight. We'll have to rewire it, of course. Just going to delete that, delete that, run a wire to this corner. Looks pretty straight. Again, it's going to be easier. Okay. Yeah, much easier. That looks pretty straight there. And then down to here. Yep, not too bad. And then over to here. Okay, good. So that takes care of that. Now, um, let's move this. And this. And we'll put those over here. I don't even know if we need this this base thingy anymore. Yeah, we'll put it back down for now. We'll put the save point right here. Let's move this. Now, if I pick all this up, is all of that going to go into my inventory? You know what? Let's do a save first, just in case.
I wonder if all the stuff is still in there. So maybe we just need to set it back down. I'm hoping that's what it is. Well, if it's not, then we'll just have to reload. Could even put that over there, but I, I think... It's kind of sticking out a little bit, but please tell me all this stuff is still in here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Wow. That's kind of cool that you can, you could, you could, you could probably use that as an extra storage and fudge it a little bit. Okay, good. Now we are going to take you and move you over to here. to that container. We could, we could probably slide it back over a little bit. And that should be enough room there. Yeah, let's slide this back over a little bit. Maybe you do right about there-ish. Now, that means this door is going to have to go, uh, which is fine. Okay, so we have zero, one two, three, four, and what will do five, six, seven, eight, nine that way. What are we gonna need to make these? We're gonna need magnetized ferrite and sodium. Should have plenty of all that stuff. Grab a stack of each of those things. Oh no wait, that was chromatic metal, not magnetized. Also put that away. No, actually I think I want five on this side, so we'll go five, six, seven, eight, nine that way. They're gonna block that light, probably. Let's just see what happens here. Definitely gonna want to get into camera mode for this. This way till it's let's just try that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's not sticking out the wall there. Very important that this is lined up though because it'll throw all the rest of them off. It looks pretty close to me.
Yep, that looks pretty good. Alright, and then why don't we just run a line off of here to there. Alright, what just happened? Oh no! <laughs> They're all sticking out this way! Ah, oh, crap. Alright, I'm gonna have to redo this. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, let's put you guys back here. Okay, that looks good. Now we should be able to put the rest of these in. do is put you right about there. It's not fully level, but it's good enough because we're not going to be able to see it anyway, and then we can hook that up back there. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, so there's nothing in any of these yet. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing in that one either. This one's got all the those in. Okay, cool. We got that all set up. Fantastic. All right, you guys. Well, I think... That's going to wrap up this episode. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to redo... I'm going to completely redo my storage. So, like I said, I'm going to make this a drop chest because uh, it's right next to where we come in. And then this will be basic resources this will be rare resources or maybe this will be this can be like um, crafting materials this can be modules this can be I don't know we'll figure it out and we'll have, you know we'll have to keep expanding it as we go up too uh, of course um, so I'll figure that out and then when we start the next episode I'll show you how I got uh, how I organized all that but I'm feeling pretty good about stuff I think we made really good progress uh, in today's episode. What I'm thinking, though, the main goal of the next episode is going to be that we're going to we're going to set up our fleet. In fact, before I let you go, why don't we go ahead and so that's three back. Yeah, why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and set up some more fleet command rooms just so we have them so that gives us a total of three frigates that we could have going I mean I don't know how many you you can have or should have that would give us four yeah, let's let's start with four. Oh, those are rotated the wrong way. Well, that was easy enough to fix. Okay, we'll start with four and then you know, I mean, we can certainly expand it.
some more later on and go from there okay thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in uh, the very next episode bye